Welcome back guys in the previous video we just created our adapter view cycler adapter and view holder and single row class in this video I'm going to show you that how to display values into our recycler view for that purpose I'm going to create another activity by clicking just click on the package then new activity and simply click on empty activity here I'm going to share that show values activity and click finish let it sync okay that's it first step we are going to change the our xml which we created in previously i'm just going to remove this added from here and just scroll view and text view from here and going to change the this text of this I'm going to say move to show values activity i say okay and uh, rest of things i'm going to change in a uh, while so first of all let me get back into our layout folder and in the layout folder now i'm going to change some values into our xml so here i'm going to say first of all let me change the root layout which is relative layout now i'm going to have a button over here simply going to copy values from here and pasting over there and let me change the attributes now i'm going to say show values into recycler view and id would be show values and this is not going to be below of any and this i'm going to change okay right below of this i'm going to implement our recycler view with the match parent and wrap content height let me self close it now i'm going to set the margin on the both side instead of setting margin right here i'm going to copy the values from here and paste over here and this would be below of our show button and let me set the id and this would be data recycler view and march and top would be 5 tp now first step which i'm going to do is to connect this recycler view with the java recycler view so i would say recycler view or bj recycler view now i am in show values activity remember this so i would say so bj recycler view and view by it or that it dot data rv now getting back into making activity here i'm going to create another method which simply would say public wide move to show values activity faster view and here i'm just calling one method which is start activity new intent this would be from this class to show values x dot class okay now i'm going to call this method on the on click of this button so i would say move to next activity and going to change the id for this as well this would be move button move that move activity button okay so we have created some values but uh, here as you can see there is an error i'm going to remove this error as we have deleted this text view so we don't need it anymore i'm going to remove it and next thing i'm totally going to copy this method and by press selecting from here to end of this and going to press ctrl x and then moving into our show value activity and outside the on create method i'm going to paste it here i'm going to make some changes into this method which uh, i recommend you guys to clearly watch so i am going to uh, i'm not going to change the name of this the next thing i'm going to do is to get the object of our my database class inside this class so i would say i will simply going to create my databases class opj my databases class would be equal to new my databases class and here i'm going to pass the context would be this would be this in the next step we will check the if the sqlite object sqlite databases object is not null then we will have our cursor and we will run the raw mercury as we run in the previous video so we're not going to use the buffer this time so i would simply say remove it and here i'm going to remove these values as well so i'm going to remove this as well next thing we are going to do as we can see from our database recycler view we have stored our values inside an array list of the model class so we are going to create an array list of model class inside our show values activity as well array list and this would be of type model class and i am going to say opj model class or array list let me change this to model class array list okay that's and now i'm going to initialize it with by saying this opj model class uh, object model class array list equal to new array list that's it next thing we are going to do is to put values inside this array list 
okay that values will come from the databases so i'm going to say i'm, I'm going to put the values like this obj model class array list dot add you can see that we have created our array list of type model class so i'm going to say that new model class and model class take four parameter let me open model class for you guys and here you can see model class takes four parameter first one is id then phone then string username and then email so i would say first one is as uh, is id id is stored at the index zero so i and it is of type integer and i'm going to say ob object cursor dot get int and int is on zero int from zero next we are going to add let me uh, take it to multiple lines next thing we are going to add phone number so phone number is stored as you can see from our my database class that phone number is stored on the fourth in the fourth column so it would be on the three as we start from the zero so i would say obj cursor dot get i get not get string get I, int from three okay and next we are going to get the name this which is obj cursor dot get string and this would be on column one and next thing would be obj cursor that get string and this would be on column two okay so uh, we have almost added the values from database to our array list next thing is to pass this array list to our database recycler view adopters constructor as we have passed over here so i'm going to uh, first i'm going to create the object of this database of recycler adopter class in our show values activity you can either create it here or simply declare the variable over here on the top of your class by saying database recycler adapter obj object database recycler adapter and here you can initialize that with obj recycler adapter would be equal to new database recycler adapter and here you would pass object model class or a list and then you have to pass this object to our newly created recycler view so i would say object recycler view which we create attached which we created over here and then attached uh, by using the find view id method and i'm going to say for a set few properties first has fixed size okay then i would say object recycler view dot set layout manager would be equal to new linear layout manager and i'm going to pass that this context and in the last step i'm going to say object recycler view dot set adapter which is adapter of object recycler adapter so last thing we are going to uh, do is to call this method into the on click property of this button so i would say on click show values from database that's it so let me uh, go through the code once more thing is looking good and perfect so let me run it and see if the code is running perfectly or not so this was the application we previously created we are i'm just waiting for the gradle to build and uh, update this application so uh, let's wait for the gradle to build so uh, our application has been updated so let me click on this method we are moved into next activity hope so run let me click on this method and there you go so in the previous video we added five values and all values are being displayed in this recycler view let me get back into our uh, main activity and add some more values now let me move back into our site next activity and let me show values okay guys so as you can see that the values that we have created are Inserted into our recycle view. That's it. So till this point, we have learned a lot of things in this tutorial video series. In the very first step, we created a database. Then we inserted values in our databases. Then we shown values in our text view. Then we implemented a recycle view. And now I have shown values into our recycle view. So coming videos, I'm going to show with you guys a lot of knowledgeable things related to SQLite databases so keep watching keep learning and keep smiling see you guys in the upcoming videos tata bye bye